Hey dreamers, this is Mandy Owen and I'm excited to be back with you again today to talk more about dreams. As always, you can reach out to us um, at on our Facebook at Mandy Owen. You can find us on YouTube at Mandy Owen or reach us on our website through our website at MandyOwenMinistries.com. We would love to hear more from you and learn more about your dreams. Um, we've been talking about uh, famous dreamers throughout history. Uh, my favorite, of course, being Abraham Lincoln. If you haven't watched that one, go watch it. He's an amazing dreamer. It's an amazing story. I love Abraham Lincoln's dream stories and what a what a great leader he was um, and a dreamer. Um, but I want to finish up that series um, discussing someone that my friend Chris Cunningham sent me. Um, Chris sent me this story about Giordano Bruno. He was born in 1948, I'm sorry, in 1548 and was martyred in 1600. He was a friar um, or monk, and he ended up being uh, martyred by the Roman Catholic Church. Um, he was a revolutionary thinker. He was a brilliant philosopher, brilliant man, you know, just a, an all-around thinker that really thought things out. I love thinkers. I love, I love people who analyze and can really kind of break open things for us sometimes. Um, and he was one of those. And he, when he was 30 years old, he had a dream. And this dream changed everything for him. It changed the way he thought. It changed his philosophy. It changed everything for him. And he was not a scientist. He was he was not, not anybody that really studied, I guess, the stars or anything like that. Um, but he was a philosopher. And he um, was a thinker. So in at some point in this, when he was 30, he had this dream about the universe. And in this dream, he was in like a sphere or a bowl it was all encompassing. Um, it was surrounded him. It had stars everywhere. And as he walked to the edge of that bowl and kind of lifted it up, the curtain, it was like a curtain, I guess. He lifted it up and looked out. He could see that there was like a universe. And it, as that happened, like the, the, the floor or the ground or, or the earth below him started falling. And it was like, um, it was terrifying. It was, it was terrifying for him to because it's like he felt like the everything was falling out from under his feet and um and out of control so at that point he had a decision which is where this dream kind of turns into more of a lucid dream um he could have ran or or went hit or, or woke up um but he uh, had courage built up inside of him during this dream and he decides to to go outside that curtain um, and so he goes outside of the, the kind of sphere of stars and he starts to fly. And as he flies, um, he's flying through the universe. And as he flies through the universe, he sees um, other stars and other worlds, other planets. Um, and, the, and there's other suns and there's other moons. And, you know, he sees all these things in the, in the universe. And he realizes, like this revelation hits him, that the, the universe is infinite. You know, at this time in the 1500s, um, people of his day, the, even the greatest um, scientists of his day, believed that everything revolved around the earth. The earth was the center of the world. I mean, the center of the universe. Um, and so for him to say that the earth was not the center of the universe and that the sun was just another star out there and that um, there was t many other planets, many other worlds out there, was um kind of radical you know they didn't understand that and but when he woke up from this dream he said the revelation of it was like falling in love it was passion like he he knew what he saw he he understood things that he didn't understand before i mean how many times have people had dreams that could not have known something that could not have known possibly known that that existed and all of a sudden they woke up and they just knew and they just like no this is how we're going to fix that no there is a, a universe that's infinite out there no uh we need to to create a car i don't know whatever it is that that you just woke up and you knew something and that's what happened with bruno and he became passionate about about this to the point where it said that he became an evangelist for this dream like he he started teaching people about the 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 new the new idea of a uh, new heaven and earth and you know the how the universe worked um and it didn't sit well with political leaders of his time with the roman catholic church um and he ended up being martyred now there is controversy over the reason he was martyred um that there they it could have been over religious beliefs and, and heresy 
Um, or it could have been over the fact that he challenged the government at that time. Um, I think it was probably both. I think that the Roman Catholic Church could not control him. Uh, he was a radical thinker. He, he, he had a passion that he knew he was right. And he probably challenged them in a lot of things, um, including the, what this dream brought, but maybe also things that were involving the church at that time. And um, he ended up being martyred for his beliefs. Now, 10 years after his martyr, uh, I mean, after he was killed, 10 years after he was killed, um, uh, Galileo looked through the first telescope. And he um, looked at this telescope and he realized, and he saw all the stars. He saw everything that Bruno had said was there. And he realized that Bruno was right. And it says um, that Galileo says it was a lucky guess. Um, now, obviously, it was not a lucky guess. Um, it was a dream that brought revelation to Bruno, and he had a passion for it. Um, but I just want to encourage you guys, um, if you have a dream that may be crazy, crazy thinking, like how could this dream even mean anything, pray into the revelation. It may be something that the Lord is giving you that will revolutionize your life. It could be a turning point for your life. I mean, I'm thinking right now just about how Jesus speaks to people that, that, that don't have technology. You know, maybe you're in a country with with a mate like like with um, ridiculous religious beliefs that are so strict and so um, oppressive that you don't even really understand what the true love of of a father, true love of God is, and all of a sudden you're having these dreams. And you're having these dreams about a loving God, a loving, um, a loving Jesus that wants to reach out to you. Maybe you've had dreams about angels or Jesus, um, and you keep dismissing them. Maybe the Bible. I feel like somebody's probably had a dream about the Bible, and you feel like you need to read the Bible, but you you don't want to because you know that there'll be oppression from that. You know that you may have ridicule for that. Um, I want to encourage you, listen to what your what the Spirit is telling you in your dreams. Uh, follow it. There is revelation that will come from it. The Lord will speak to you in your dreams. He will give you creative ideas. He will give you a way out if you're trapped. He will give you warnings if you're walking into a dangerous situation. And He might even give you an idea that revolutionizes, that, that's, that's the reality. I mean, Bruno's dream was a reality. The, the universe is infinite. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Um, but no, just because the things around us aren't known doesn't mean it's not real. And maybe the Lord is wanting to speak to you to give you revelation that can break some things open for your family, for your job, for uh, your church, or maybe even for the nation. Um, so pray into your dreams, pay attention to them. And if you're struggling with identifying symbols in your dreams, you can reach out to us on our website at mandioandministries.com. We would be happy to help you. Um, keep dreaming and uh, see you guys next time.